Hello, today we will be continuing our online video tutorial on how to count the number of through holes in your project. As you may recall, we calculated the number of SMT pads by simply highlighting all the pads on our project and pressing Ctrl, Shift, and Enter to view how many pads that we had selected. We will be using a different method for counting the number of through holes for this video as there is a much more accurate approach to this that considers the situations where you may have parts that are do not install. To deselect what we have selected, we will press Ctrl U. As a quick reference, we see that by highlighting all the holes that appear to be on the board and pressing Ctrl Shift plus Enter, we have about 60 pads highlighted telling us that there are 60 holes on this project. When we move over to our bomb and hide the unnecessary columns, we can determine the real number of holes on your board by doing a manual check on each item line by line to get the correct number. We've created this table here, and by simply multiplying our first column by our quantity column, we can easily determine the number of pads and the number of holes that are truly on this board. Since we have two do not install items on line 1 and 10, those pads will not be considered. To verify the number of holes or pads that a part may have, we can simply highlight that part number and check it in DigiKey. By doing a quick search and looking at the picture and also reading the description, we can see that this is a six position term block header that has six through holes. That is how we got the number that appears in this box here. Continuing this process through the whole entire bomb will get us an accurate representation of the number of holes that should be on this project. After going through and placing in the number of pads and the number of holes, for each item, we see that we only have 38 holes and 64 pads. This is quite contrary to what we obtained earlier where we had a total pad count of 76, but this is because, as we can see here, some of the resistors have not been included in the overall count. Similarly, we had 60 holes selected when looking at our highlighted version on ViewMate, but only 38 appears here on our bomb. At this point, it's important to note that there are no do not install items that are through holes indicated on this bomb. Therefore, there are some holes that are on the Gerber files that have not been listed as do not install. It is important to note that by using this method of using the table to determine the number of holes and pads, we will be able to account for anything that may show up on the Gerber files but should not be included on the final assembly as well. Now that we've determined the number of through holes that are on this project, we can enter it into our project online. We can also adjust the number of SMT pads at the same time. To its true value. Thank you for taking the time to watch Patel Electronics online video tutorial on how to count the number of through holes on your project. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact us at sales at 7pcb.com.